as we're waiting for uh, calls to come in, let me follow up with Denise's question store sure. to you because she mentioned that she had gone to her own doctor and was, was dealing with her own insurance. How much of the responsibility is on the employee to, to go to the employer and say, I, I need those forms? How much of the responsibility is on the employer? Well, you know, both parties need, need to be proactive okay. in getting these getting these claims moving. Uh, certainly, uh, with, uh, they'll say in the squeaky wheel gets mm -hmm. the grease. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of times, these a lot of employers do the right thing. Right. And it's no problem, you get hurt on the job, you go to the HR, you go to your supervisor, th there's witnesses, they know you're hurt. Mm -hmm. you, you fill out these, these very basic forms. It can take a couple of days sometimes to get a doctor's appointment, but, but most employees, or excuse me, employers are pretty good about about getting getting this started, but uh, she needs to stay on them. And if she and if she can't, she needs to call a lawyer because you know there's just a number of reasons why uh, employers won't turn this in. They just think it'll go away. Or mm. sometimes these larger companies, she said they have three or four thousand employees. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, the supervisors get bonuses for the number of days they go without having a work-related injury, so they don't want to turn the the claim in. Uh, but there's there's a lot of problems with using your personal insurance. Uh, for instance, you have Blue Cross Blue Shield, and you get hurt on the job, and you start receiving considerable uh, treatment that costs money. Medical treatment costs a lot of money, mm -hmm. and uh, Blue Cross is going to want that money back. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not going to want to pay for a work-related uh, injury, and it, uh, eventually, uh, someone uh, in the administration of Blue Cross Blue Shield is going to do an audit of that file and see that it's work-related, uh -huh. and they're going to charge that doctor back for all the treatment, and then the doctor is going. To come after her yes, for right. the money and then she's going to call me and I'll get it fixed but uh, it's going to be a problem <laughs> you know. Yeah. Stuart you, you mentioned something earlier that I want you to talk to our folks about first report of injury. Yes. Why is that important and how much time do you have to do it? Yeah you need I need to get it done as soon as possible and then there's always an instance where someone gets hurt on the job and they tweak their back or they tweak their leg or they tweak their shoulder and they think well, you know, I'm a working man or woman. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a physical job. I'm just sore. This is just, in, they make me wake up in the middle of the night or the next day and they go, man, I'm really hurt. Mm. And so, uh, you know, you need to get it done within a week, okay? You know, there's always exceptions to the time period, but just as soon as, as practical to get that filed so they can't say that you did it on at home, mm -hmm. cutting because the grass or, you know, or yeah. taking down a Christmas tree or putting up yeah. something in the attic because... You know, Kirby, we've, we've, <laughs> that's, not be, that's not beyond what these, what these people try to say happens, Correct. you know, what these insurance companies try to say. And they can use that to try to deny your workers' comp. Correct. Benefits. And I've had, you know, the employer tell uh, the employees, say, you know, don't say you got her on the job. We'll, we'll pay for all this. Let's just go to the, I'll go to the emergency room with you and we'll, we'll pay for everything. And they start getting those bills for ten or $20,000 for treatment and all of a sudden, they don't want to. They don't want to pay it anymore. Story changes. Exactly, and then the employers are generally are most uh, like more. It's more likely than not that the employer is not responsible uh, for the payment of these medical bills. They have insurance, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so the insurance companies get these claims that have been open. You've been treating on your your own, and uh, you know you, they want to open up an investigation and take yep. statements. And they want you to sign medical authorizations. So you have all these bad things that can happen. So the moral of the story is. Make sure you get the first report of injury done. Talk to a lawyer. You know, if you call me, I, you know, I may or may not even get in, involved at mm -hmm. that point. But I, I'll give you some advice. Talk to another workers' comp lawyer, somebody that uh, has knowledge with with the workers' comp uh, statute. Uh, here, here in Alabama, because it, it is a it is a specialized skill. Absolutely, yeah. well, we we can tell we can tell there's just so yeah. many nuances. 